What's up guys? I hope you're having a lovely week, a lovely day. So I got up uh, and now I've just decided I wanted to wash my hair today and do a little style for you guys. And dye my hair blue. Yeah. So, we're just going no, 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 oh, no, 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 honey. All right, so we're just gonna comb it out, uh, just like that. <laughs> it wasn't tangled, I'm surprised it wasn't tangled. I'm really surprised it wasn't tangled. <laughs> Just gonna go get my wash on. If you want a full wash day um, routine thing, a full wash day, 4B4C uh, wash day routine, if you wanna see that from me, uh, comment down below and I'll do that for you guys. But for today, we're just gonna focus on the twist out and focus on the coloring of my hair. So let's get ready for that. And yeah, let's just go. I'll see you guys later when I'm done washing my hair. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Three hours later. This is me right now. The hair has dried up. I washed it. I haven't actually conditioned it. I just washed it. So this is the As I Am detangling conditioner and I'm just gonna use that too. Um, oh. Alrighty. It's a leave-in conditioner, so I won't have to wash it out or anything. So I just rub it in, it's nothing fancy. That side is conditioned. And then we're just gonna put, oh, Jesus Christ. It always does this, really. <sighs> There's a bug that's just bugging me right now. Why don't you get killed? Why don't you die, goddammit? I don't have both hands to kill you. Can just chase you away? Come on. Now my whole hand is conditioned, perfect. Conditioned. Oh, I need oil. So this is the Mayan moisturizer that I use. It's the olive oil. <sighs> but see how simple it is to just apply with a nozzle. It gets in there. You don't have to do much. You just insert it and just easy, easy peasy. Oh, now I'm sweating oil. Perfect. So I section my hair like I'm doing a conroe. It doesn't matter if you need to split it with a comb or whatever. I just use my hands. I don't have any clippers at the moment, so I'm just gonna brush my hair to the side like that. Where is my Dunman brush? I need a Dunman brush. I can't find my Dunman brush, but this will have to do for now. Just a hard bristle brush, just to brush through all the tangles. Okay, so we just take a section like this. Just take one section like that. This is a smoothing gel that I use, as I am smoothing gel. You can do it with any other gel. I just apply it on the strands, on the section that I have. So you smooth the gel all over like this. Make sure every part of it is coated in the gel from the root. Make sure your roots also have the gel and just smooth it all the way to the tips. Then you take your brush and you just comb through just to make sure it's all tangled just like that. So we section it into two parts. I just twist up like that. Just do a normal two strand twist. So you just do a twist up like that. It's been a while since I did twist outs. One down, a thousand to go. <laughs> but yeah, basically that's it, that's what you do. Oh yeah, you want to do this to the ends just to make sure it's curly on the ends as well. Just like that. So I'm going to do everything and then I will come back to you when I unravel them. But as for now... <laughs> let me get into concentration mode and just get this done for once and for all.
so I finished twisting every part um, all over my head except the front and that's because I want to flat twist the front so I want to do that forward just to make the twists fall to the front of my head because that suits me usually so yeah that's what I'm gonna do all right let's carry on Today's when we're going to unravel the twist art and um, dye the hair blue. It's a temporary hair wax dye, so I haven't even opened it. It's the Mofajang hair colouring wax, so it doesn't penetrate the hair shaft and that's why it's so safe to use on whatever hair type you have without any consequences that are permanent. It won't damage your hair or change your hair in a permanent manner, it will just cut the strands. So I'm just opening the box right now. This is a good way to just experiment if you don't know if you want to actually dye your hair permanently. They have a range of colours as well. Link in the description for where I bought it off Amazon. Uh, you can just click on it and you'll see. So this is just how it looks like. I can't pour out, it's very thick. And it smells like men's perfume, men's cologne. It actually smells like men's cologne. It just smells like a man. That's the best way I can describe it. But when it's on your hair, it doesn't smell like that. It's just out of the pack. So that's the name. You can see clearly, Mofajang. So just the twist out. It's looking kind of cute, to be honest. It's, it's actually like a little cute style. It looks so innocent. Hi, my name's Joanne. Um, <laughs> I'm in like primary school. Um, yeah, so it makes you look really cute. Um, a tip when you're doing your twist outs, I th what I do, I like to tie them so that they stretch out even when they are done. Because obviously, uh, 4C4B hair, basically afro hair shrinks a lot, shrinkage is real, hashtag shrinkage is real. So you want to tie it up so when you remove the hair tie, it, it's still long, it's still retaining some length. So let's just get down to it, let's just apply it. Um, okay, so initially, the first time I did it, I added a bit of water. I felt like it helped absorb the hair wax better and not flake so I'm just gonna do that not too much I'm just thinking of just a little just a little dip -a -dip, dip -a -dip, dip dip of water just to make it you know and um, not to flake so yeah let me just go put some water and I'll be right back all right so I'm back um, I've just wet the hair put a little water we'll see if that actually works out well uh yeah I only have one glove by the way <laughs> I don't use gloves like the first time I used Mofajang hair wax I didn't use gloves um, it was okay, it washes right out of your hands, so it's cool, but I don't want my henna to get affected in any way. <laughs> Ow, that hurt! <laughs> so, we just take the Mofajang. Yeah, this can be a thumbnail. We need the blue in there. We're just gonna put some. This is the consistency of it. Told you, very with very thick, waxy. Oh, okay. It's like an electric blue. I think this hair works. Um, the good thing with it is that I feel like it's suitable for all hair types. You know, most of the time you find that products are um, suited to, towards one hair type. You know, more straight hair or more curly hair. But this feels like it's just for anyone who wants to have a bit of fun with color. Um, and not have to do it permanently just to experiment or like if you're going out on like going out partying or going for a festival and you want to look a bit more um you know out there with it you can just try it i feel like once you have this a little goes a long way you can use the bottle for long it doesn't have to be a one-time use sort of thing and the, the wax washes right off 
I slept with it for a couple of days and it didn't rub off on my stuff um, until my hair got really dry. So when your hair gets really dry is when it starts flaking. On my, through my experience, that's what I found out. I think I'll put like a little tint on the roots as well, just like, you know, so it seems like it's just blending into that whole thing. <laughs> I got blue hair guys, deal with it. Oh my god. I'm shook about what, how much I'm doing. You're doing the most, Joanne. You're doing the most. So it's done. It's all blue. Just so that you have an idea, I've just been digging into the pot and that's how much is left. Um, yeah, but I think that it will take you a long time to finish that jar. I bought the jar for about five pounds and that's about a thousand something Kenyan shillings, I think. My math. Okay, one pound equals 135, 37 pounds. I mean, one pound equals 135, about 137 Kenyan shillings, so do the math. Anyway, so I'm done with putting it on my hair, and now I'm just going to unravel the twists. Let's get down to the takedown, and then I will give you my thoughts on everything afterwards. Alright guys, so that's the hair. <laughs> um, I think it came out really well to be honest. I'm happy with how it's looking. <laughs> yeah. I'll do an updo. hair for you guys um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you liked the outcome if you stuck around till now please hit the thumbs up button subscribe if you're not part of this um, fam <laughs> let's do that again subscribe to join as the littlest classical family in all of YouTube the prima donna fam yes so subscribe if you want more fun videos like this from me I do random things on this channel if you're here for the first time um, feel free to scroll through my channel and see what kind of videos I've done in the past feel free to indulge I figured that I've been doing a lot of skit videos of late and I just wanted to change it up and do a hair video and then you guys are gonna get part two of types of people at restaurants in the next video hope you guys enjoyed seeing me dyeing my hair blue even though it's just a temporary wax dye but it's it is it is it is it is talk Joanne it is still a blue hair dye. Comment down below what you think, if you would try this out for yourself, if you want more information about Mofajang and hair wax and all that, just feel free to comment down in the comment section. I reply to every single comment. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a lovely day and a lovely week. I love you guys and I'll see you next time. Mwah.